Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Hack the Box series. A lot of you have been asking me to restart it or to continue uh, with this series and uh, to go through uh, the retired boxes. So I've only covered about two or three boxes on the channel and I thought why not go through it uh, chronologically. Um, so I'm going to be going through all the retired boxes and we're going to be continuing off with Legacy. Um, so Legacy is a Windows box and it's uh, fairly simple. It, uh, it essentially relies on exploitation of a CVE or a common vulnerability uh, that we can exploit. So we have the IP here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start this machine uh, because if you remember uh, with the new system that they have here, we're going to be starting with Legacy. I'm just going to start the machine here and uh, we'll just start that up and uh, I can cat the nmap results for you here which I already have so let me just clear that out nmap results and there we are all right so you can see that um, you can see my various scan options here uh, so some service enumeration and an aggressive scan and I pretty much scanned uh, all the ports what we find is uh, we have a port 139 which is NetBIOS and port 445 which is uh, Microsoft DS so it also tell us, uh, tells us the version here. So Windows XP, Microsoft DS and then 3389 we have a closed uh, MS and WBT server. Um, so as for the aggressive detection you can see that we get Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 3 94% uh, match and we also have Microsoft Windows Server 2003 service pack 1 or 292. So if you go for the highest, uh, the highest percentage match here, we can actually try and search for exploits. So what we can do is we can go to google.com and we can search for uh, Windows XP service pack 3 uh, exploit and uh, we can see what exploits we have. Right, so we have quite a few exploits, but primarily we want to look at the services that this exploit is going to be targeting or what services we have open that are going to allow us to essentially exploit the operating system. In this case, we see we don't have any other, we don't have any other services running. These are pretty standard uh, Microsoft services. So we are looking to exploit either NetBIOS or the Microsoft DS service here. So we can take a look at the uh, exploit database here on ExploitDB. We can also search for uh, say Microsoft DS uh, exploit and uh, let's search for particular exploits here. But we're particularly dealing with Windows XP here and uh, we can search for that. And um, let's open up the first one, but let's take a look at the exploit database here. Um, so this is uh, look, this is privilege escalation. If you can also go ahead and start searching, but let's take a look at this one right over here. That has to do with SMB, which is what we're looking at particularly. Um, so Microsoft Service uh, Server Service Relative Path uh, Stack Corruption. So this is a Metasploit module. Uh, we can use it by and it gives us the the actual name of the of the exploit. So it's uh, MS08. 067 net API. So if we just copy this module, uh, this module name, and let's open up the Metasploit console here. So I'll do that right now. Uh, so MSF console, and uh, let me just increase the, my font size so we can see what's going on. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll let that start up. Um, for some reason, I should have connected to the database, but in any case, let's use that module. And we show the options now. Um, you can see that uh, what we need to specify are the R hosts here, and that's essentially the target host uh, IP here. So what we can do is uh, we can actually just copy this IP, and uh, we want to do that. So we say set R hosts um, like so, and we can then paste in the IP over here. And we're going to leave the R port uh, because that is the SMB service port, and we're going to also leave the SMB pipe as well. And we're just going to hit run. And that's going to start the, uh, the reverse TCP handler. It's going to detect the target. And let's see whether we're able to, uh, to actually exploit this. And yes, we can see we get the stage sent. And we get a interpreter session open. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to enumerate information about the system. We can see we are running a 32-bit uh, version of Windows XP Service Pack 3. Um, if we currently print our working directory, you can see we're in uh, system 32. So I'll just try and go into my C drive directly 
and uh, let me list the contents here so we want to head over to the uh, we want to head over to the documents and settings um, directory and if we list the files in here we have all the users that we can access so we have the administrator all users default user and john so if we try and access the john directory and we list the contents in here we need to go into the desktop so we'll enter the desktop as well and i will cut the user.txt flag uh, like so so that was fairly simple uh, let us check if we can actually access the administrator um, the administrator directory so we hit enter and yes we can so that means we can pretty much get the root uh, flag as well so i will catch the contents of the root flag here and there we are so we get the contents of the root flag and that was a fairly simple so uh, again this box is uh, really really simple all it involves is just enumeration of the services uh, and the uh, the operating system version that you're running and of course as you see given the various uh, submissions uh, in regards to the type of uh, of box it is it's uh, pretty much dealing with the cve here more than anything else so very little of custom exploitation it's uh, very little of ctf like uh, and again quite little to do with enumeration because everything can be given to you in one simple nmap scan so that's going to be it for this box uh, i'll be seeing you in the next in the next box when we'll be taking a look at um, some of the other machines here so we'll be moving along with it in an orderly fashion so we'll be taking a look at popcorn i believe or devil which is also a windows uh, box and then we'll move on to popcorn beep so on and so forth so i'll be seeing you in the next video